Five minute timer, go! My famous structure is the St. Basil's Cathedral. What makes it famous? The St. Basil's Cathedral is famous because of its unique design and place of origin. People really like how it looks because it's so unique, and people don't really know too much about things in Russia, and it instantly became something that was widely known as a Russian structure. And because it's in Moscow, which is the capital of Russia, it just really gained steam and it rose up the structural hierarchy that I just made up. And because it stands out and it's unique, a lot of people know about it. It's famous. Right, so basically, the, the main tower was built. They built towers around the tower. They built more towers around that tower. This tower is a pretty nice tower. They decided to build more towers. Then there are some wars and they decided to rebuild the towers. The St. Basil's Cathedral was built by Yervin the Terrible as a commemoration for the capture of Kazan and the Mongol forces as well as Astrakhan. The St. Basil's Cathedral is located in the Red Square. No, no, not that. Yeah, this one, the Red Square. And it is in Moscow, Russia, which, well, Moscow is the capital of Russia, which would fit the magnitude of the structure and it is in the Red Square because of its centralized location. If you zoom out of the Red Square on Google Maps like I have done, you will see that roads actually come out of it. See, see that? I hope I recorded that properly. Um, yeah. Because of this, even the terrible decided to build the cathedral there. I actually have some time. That's amazing. So I can slow down a bit and not skip every point. Okay, so, the aesthetic. This cathedral is definitely pleasing to look at, despite it originally being white. Today has colors ranging from orange, green, and everything in between. It looks kind of like a full spectrum. The structure has a variety of weird presentations, color and shape. The onion head things, as I like to call them, and apparently other people call them too, looks very cool despite being very unorthodox. So, it looks... Pretty good. I mean, I'm no architectural arts critic, but this structure looks quite good. It remains a mystery to this day who or what built the Saint Basil's Cathedral. We know it was made by man, but it could be potentially built by blind people who had creative, unmatched design. However, it is likely that that is just a myth. There is no real information on this, and none actually know who exactly built the St. Basil's Cathedral! Doing Pegasus was fun, now I'm doing Kai! <laughs> okay, no, no, I'm not doing Kai. Margin of safety, so the margin of safety on this thing, I couldn't find any information on it. Why? Because it's not interesting enough for people to post, and I'm not gonna buy an airplane ticket to Moscow to figure out the margin of safety of this structure. It, the project's not that big, is it? Okay, so I found some um, interesting information, which isn't actually safety, but kinda is in a way. I don't know where I should put it. So, natural protection. So there was a time when this mean person called Napoleon tried to bomb it and then they made it rain and then all the dynamite went out. Get wrecked scrub. And, and then Stalin tried to destroy it because, you know, it's a clown structure. It look, looks bad for the serious marches. And then some random architect stopped him. Boom, right? Things that could potentially compromise its safety includes dynamite, bombs, and other humans. Okay? And it's clown-like appearance makes it a target for mean people. <laughs> the St. Basil Cathedral is now used as a museum in the Red Square. It is open daily from 11 to 5 p.m. except on Tuesdays when it is closed. It is a tourist attraction and a place to learn about history. It still stands because it dodged demolition from mean people.